This Portola coffee costs me more than the ads that's gonna make from this video. Hipster coffee. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Andy Wing. You know, Andy Wing. The, the people keep saying I'm saying my name wrong. I say how I want. Andy Nguyen in the his house. This is the Ginkgo 65 from Wuchui Studios. Okay, speaking of pronouncing things. I was saying a Wu Kui, Wu Chu, Wu Kei. He would look it up. It's actually Wu Chui. Wu Chui Studio sent this over. This is the Ginkgo 65. It is a gasket mount keyboard and it has a lot of features that might allow it to, dare I say it, beat the Vega. It was some fine words. The background is definitely intentional. Now this board is green. You can see the beautiful color. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Just to get you properly warmed up, let's give you a little bit of the sound test. Now that you're properly peaked, this is an aluminum 65% keyboard, it is gasket mounted, and it employs a lot of the most popular features in the keyboard right now, which is the PCB foam, the case foam, and the PE foam. Of course, none of it is required, but it's nice to have the option in the box, so you know at least your components will fit and you don't gotta do any kind of modding and there won't be any issues with your PCB. Because it is a valid question, does the PCB have ESC protection? Yes, it does. Oh, and I have to say hi to people walking by. And in my opinion, the board is definitely a banger. Before we get into the details, I will say this is a valid contender for my hot swap keyboard. I know you're gonna be asking before we even get into the details on the review, this is a more deep kind of muted sounding gasket keyboard. It's not gonna be clacky. So I know there's a thock boat and there's a clack boat. You pick a side, right? This board is more on the deep side. In terms of the aesthetic, it's a very clean look. This is the ginkgo leaf on the back, as well as the leaf again here. It is a low centered USB-C. That's due to the USB-C daughter board that's included with this keyboard. In terms of the aesthetic of this board, it has some interesting elements for the top case, right? It just provides a little bit of embellishment to make it look more interesting from the top because often with these 60 and 65% keyboards, there's not much you can do to make it interesting. I do like the two-tone color. The back is black, the top is green really helps it pop without changing too much of the design language of a 65% keyboard we've seen how some of these can get a little crazy with it I'll show some examples on the screen this is a little bit fancier but at least it's a little bit more elegant I do also like that in the design of the case the case actually has some alignment pins so that the plate sits perfectly and when it's on the right spot the keycaps can end up interfering with the top case and then you got to unscrew it and then move it around it's a hassle and another good thing is this only has four screws for the case makes it very easy to take it apart put it back together i love that in terms of the feel of this keyboard this keyboard has one singular flex cut on the PCB, but a lot of flex cuts on the FR4 plate here. Along with the gasket mount, this is a very bouncy typing experience. And on top of that, the PCB is 1.2 millimeters, which is a little bit thinner than standard PCBs, allowing it to flex a little bit more. That provides a really fun typing experience, very bouncy. But the risk with that typically is it may end up being a little bit hollow. The designer really focused on making sure it wasn't hollow. And I can actually say that as long as you use the case foam, it isn't hollow. Now let's get into the sound of it, right? The sound is a gasket mount, pretty standard fare, and also has a PE foam. I heard this in other videos, and I will agree that PE foam kind of reduces the sound frequency range. It kind of reduces the highs, it also reduces the lows pretty much making it sound very similar. Now you may want that if your board kind of sounds subpar. In most situations, in my opinion, if your board sounds pretty reasonable, I wouldn't add the PE foam. And unfortunately for the prototype unit, I had individual slices of PE foam that were to be inserted onto the switch before it goes into the plate and PCB. For the production run, you'll have your sheet, make it much easier. But for me, I had to slave away installing every single one by hand. So for the sound test, case foam was installed because when I tested on the build stream, without the case foam, it was a little bit hollow. And I'll let you listen to the one without PE foam and the one with PE foam. Let me know what you think in the comment section below as to which one you prefer.
in terms of the sound, if you want a more rounded sound, a little deeper sound, a little bit more muted sound, you can use the PCB foam that's included. I typically never use PCB foam, but it is up to your preference. I believe with the P foam or even without, it's a pretty poppy sounding keyboard. I really like the implementation of the gasket mount. I like the whole package as a whole. And in my opinion, I can go either way, Vega, or this one. In terms of my final thoughts, I think this board is an amazing value at $249 or $259 if you get the E-White, and that is cheaper than the $325 of the Vega GB. If you're one of those people that were not in the hobby when the Vega was around, ordering this might be the good option for you. What puts us ahead of the Vega for me is the Vega kind of needs at least one layer of case foam to try to reduce the hollowness. Two layers a little bit better, but it does reduce the flex, and unfortunately, that board, even with the two case foams, has a little bit of hollowness in the left side mods. I experienced this in all of my builds. It's not really there if you're not listening for it but as a reviewer i'm looking for all the little details that would matter even beyond what a typical person would notice one of the reasons that i would put this below the vega would be that the space bar doesn't sound as good I think the Vega spacebar sounds a little bit better. This one's serviceable. It's not the most amazing, but it's definitely not the worst. Probably has to do with the flexible design. I find that flexible mounting and flexible feel spacebars don't typically sound as good as a kind of stiff spacebar. My favorite spacebars have been a top mount or a sandwich mount. The one that really sticks out to me was actually the TX66, that sandwich mount spacebar. Mm, it was amazing. And before people get mad at me, the 249, the 259, and the 329 that I listed, those are prices before shipping. The taxes and the shipping, that's gonna depend on which venue you buy from and where you live. So that varies across the board. I can't tell you how much your shipping is gonna cost. And after my testing and everything, I think this board is gonna be my new hot swap tester, which was the role that my Vega had before. I think this is a valid contender. It's solid, it's affordable, and I believe Wuche is doing a lot of great things in the community. So it's a very good option if you like the 65% layout. Now it doesn't have the brass weight, but the two-tone situation gives it a little bit of a flair so it doesn't look boring. I want to thank Wuche again for sponsoring the stream in this video. And if you have any more questions about the Ginkgo 65 from Wuche Studio, the Discord, the Geek Hack, and the Reddit will be in the description. And feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. And another tidbit about my personal life as I'm working through this. Because I stream on Twitch, I stream on YouTube, as well as make dedicated YouTube content, I've been experiencing a little bit of burnout because the demands are pretty high. I'm planning my wedding and it's in the next month. I'm making a lot of big life changes right now and it's been pretty stressful. Burnout is real. Hopefully you guys can be patient with me while I deal with this. I'll be streaming a little bit less. I'll be posting fewer videos, but I will keep working. I'll do my best to provide content entertainment for you all and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.